aspiring musicians struggling to compose lyrics need look no further for inspiration than Sir Paul McCartney's The Lyrics. Recently published in two volumes, over 900 pages detail how one of the world's most prolific songwriters crafted 154 of his most meaningful songs. Each includes a backstory that reveals just how much of his personal life he channeled into his music. While the book has been described as a self-portrait, McCartney insists in the foreword that it is not an autobiography, and he has no intention of writing one. Now 79, the whole of McCartney's 64-year career is represented in the book, from his first song written at 14, through his time with the Beatles and Wings, to his solo work. Photos, handwritten notes, drawings, paintings, and other memorabilia from McCartney's personal archive, much of which has never been seen before, accompany the songs. The lyrics explains the circumstances under which the songs were written and the people and places that inspired them. He lists his greatest influences as his parents, his late wife Linda, his high school English teacher Alan Durband, and of course John Lennon. Surprisingly, he also mentions Queen Elizabeth II, on whom he had a crush as a boy, when he considered her quite a babe. Among the many revelations in the book is that John Lennon left the Beatles before McCartney did, and while the breakup of the band was painful, the two were on good terms before Lennon was killed. McCartney has many more than 154 songs in his repertoire, of course, and his fans will likely disagree with some of his choices. However, there is enough revealing material to keep most people happy. Don't miss this edition of Speak Up to find out more.